So you know when people introduce you to different family members and they say, oh, this is my uh, uncle Steve, twice or three times removed? I have no idea what the hell that means. It's like they got kicked out of the family, now they're back in the family, and then they got kicked out again, they're back in. I don't understand that. So I think I'm just going to have a beer and ponder that question for a little bit. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, for the Rooski Brewski review. And today, the beer I have for you is by the Sada City Brewing Company out of Gravenhurst, Ontario. This is their twice removed oatmeal brown ale with lactose. Coming in at five, per, five, not just five percent. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not just five percent. Five point two percent ABV and an IBU coming in at twenty three. Not too bitter at all. It is a brown ale. Oatmeal brown ale with lactose. I like all of those things. And I don't think I've had them all together in a beer. So today's going to be a good day. Red can, twice removed, labeled there. And then you got a dog with a crutch. Did he steal it? Did he steal the crutch from a man who, or a woman who broke their leg? Or, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Crack it open and see what this bad boy has to offer. Pouring it into my Sada City pint glass because matchy matchy. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's a beautiful color. Look at that. That's a deep, deep brown. It's more black on camera. It's got a nice. Yeah, but it's definitely a super deep brown. Nice little bit of red hue going up into the light, which you can't see because it's out of frame, but I can. It sucks for you guys. <laughs> Grab yourself a beer and check it out yourself. Nice uh, light brown head on top. Not too much of a huge head, but still, still there. Still there. Let's have a smell. <sighs> that is what I was expecting. Chocolatey coffee vanilla. A little bit of molasses going on. Slightly smoky? Slightly smoky. Nice oatmeal aromas. I love me an oatmeal stout. You know what? An oatmeal brown ale with lactose sounds just like a... Sounds like a treat. Sounds like a delicious, delicious treat. Oh my god. Yeah. What are the aromas? Chocolate, coffee, oatmeal, beautifulness, vanilla, molasses, slight smoky, slight nutty. Screw it, diving in. Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so one thing you might be wondering oatmeal brown ale. How does that compare to like an oatmeal stout? Well, with the lactose in here, it's sweeter. So take an oatmeal stout and you're basically, in a sense, it seems like you're just adding sweetener. Like when you take coffee, but you add milk and sugar, well, just sugar. But that's sort of how that first sip is really making sense to me right now in my head. Is that yes, does taste very, very similar to a oatmeal stout, chocolate, coffee, the just, I don't know, mouthfeel of an oatmeal stout is just so unique. It's it's like airy but th thick and just, I don't know, something about it has a very distinct flavor as well of like oats per se. But yeah, it's like that, but with a lot more sweetener. I think that has to do with the lactose and the vanilla that I'm getting off this beer. It is good. It is very good. I still, so far, prefer oatmeal stouts over this because of the sweetness. But it's not super sweet. It's not in your face. It's just a bit sweeter than an oatmeal stout. That makes sense? Kind of. I'm rambling. Maybe. Maybe not. You kind of hear me? That's okay. Let's move over to the beer. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Opening up. Big traditional oatmeal flavor. Moving into your coffee. And then to your chocolate. And then nuttiness. Slight smokiness, even. And then that's where it sort of 
gets that sweetness as well. That vanilla sweetness, the um, almost sugar in coffee sort of sweetness you get there. Really, wow. It is beautifully well done. It's medium to heavy bodied. Nice little bit of carbonation or effervescence in there. Nothing too aggressive. Just a very delectable, beautiful, beautiful treat. And I haven't had a brown ale or a stout in a while. So this is very, very enjoyable. I am enjoying it. I'm having a good time. This looks beautiful. I don't know what else to say. That is a fantastic flavor. I love oatmeal based beer so much. This is a treat. This is just an absolute treat. Nice little bit of crispness on there. But the bold flavors in here are just wow. Damn. Damn, that's good. Sada City Brewing Co. Twice removed oatmeal brown ale with lactose, like I said, 5.2%, 23 IBUs. No description here on the beautiful looking red can with a doge, the doge on it. But on the back, we have the original gravity coming in at 14.2 degrees Play Doh. IBUs 23 SRM with a color at 24, and final gravity at 4.6 degrees Play Doh. For ingredients, we have water, Maris Otter, Flaked Oats, Carafa 2, Special Malt, special malt Dark Roast Crystal Malt, Coffee Malt, uh, Meloandinin Malt, Sugar, lacto, or Lacto Sugar, Magnum Hops, and California Ale Yeast. Again, Sada City Brewing Company, the way that you do your ingredients, also incorporating the detailed list of malts, hops, and yeast. That's awesome. I love it. I love that. People... You can do that. You can do it. Throw those detailed lists of malt hops and yeast on there, please. Thank you. I think that would be much appreciated by everybody as a whole. Sada City, you're doing it right. Good job. Moving over to the website. Actually, no, I lied. We're not going there just yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. We didn't look on the bottom. And on the bottom, we do have a brewed on date packaged on March 8th, 2019. It's the Queen of Diamonds can of the uh, little card thing that they have going on over at Sada City. March, definitely a bit older of a beer, but still, great flavor, nothing going wrong, still tastes fresh, I don't find any uh, lack of carbonation or changing of the flavors. So I'm a happy boy, I'm a happy boy. <laughs> now we can move over to the website. Website being SadaCityBrewing.com. Go to the beer section, you scroll down, and you find Twice Removed. And you hit it, and then it takes you over to a separate page with a description. Uh, True Pint. This creamy brown ale has a massive malt body that is delicately balanced with just enough bittering hops to make you come back for more. Loaded with a flavor of coffee, roasted malt, and just a touch of caramel, this rich malty ale is perfect for those chilly early spring evenings. Available Thursday, March 21st. A very nice, uh, short yet sweet description. Scrolling down, you have your ingredients and information, both the exact same as it is on the can from ABV, OG, IBM, it's not IBMs, IBUs, SRMs, Final Gravity, the new detailed list of water, malts, hops, and yeast. Love it. You also have Sam's Take, which I'll let you guys read down in the description box below on your own time. Um, so some good information there. And again, no food pairings. Be kind of nice to see, but hey, can't win them all. That just about wraps it up for the website side of things, but we gotta go over to the online store and find out the price of this beer. And if you wanna pick up twice removed, you can either go to the brewery or go to the online store on your computer and pick up a can for $3.32. For this 473 ml tall boy can, definitely a solid, solid price. That is awesome. That's an amazing beer. Also, you can do four packs for $11.95 and a two-four for 
So hey, if you want a lot, go for it. You can do that. And that is absolutely awesome. Finally, moving over to Untapped, the final segment of the reviews. Twice removed by Soda City Brewing Company has been given a 3.76 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 190 ratings. So a good amount of people have rated it. Not a huge amount, but 190 people is nothing to frown at. But damn, the ruby color on that beer. It's hard to see in the camera, I know, I'm sorry. But look in the light, it's just hoo-wee. That is a beautiful, beautiful sight. The aroma, the taste, the feel of the beer, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's, a, perfect, it's a perfect beer. I am so happy I drank this beer tonight. It's just great. Cheers, everybody, on the final sip. Let's get ready to ratings, and let's wrap this up. Sada City, twice removed. Oh. Oatmeal brown ale with lactose. Solid. Solid. Nine out of ten. It's an absolutely beautiful beer. All flavors are really, really balanced. It's a little bit too sweet for me, a little bit too much sugar in my coffee kind of flit kind of flavor going on. But overall, it is damn delicious. It goes down super smooth. It's not super heavy. It's a nice moderate to heavy mouthfeel. The flavors of coffee, chocolate, vanilla, malts, non-malts, yes, malts, nuts. A little smokiness on there, too. I don't know where that came from, but I'm picking it up, and that's just, ooh, that's just fine by me. Overall, it's a wild ride. It's an awesome beer. Go find it. Go get it. Do yourself a favor. You will not be disappointed. As for presentation... Again, really beautiful can, big red. I love it. You got you got, you got the dog there stealing the crutch from a, uh, uh, a person with a broken leg, presumably. So maybe maybe uh, not the best move for the dog, or maybe it was a good move. Maybe that guy was an asshole and he stole something. And he's trying to hop along on crutches. He's hop along. I don't know. Good information though. No description. Kind of a bummer. Not the end of the world because it is on the website. But you got your OG, IBU, SRM, Final Gravity, detailed list of malt hops and yeast, and a brute on date on the bottom. What more could you ask for? Presentation gets a solid 9 out of 10 as well. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, leave all that information. Down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Bruce, it would be greatly appreciated as well. With all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Bruce. Like I would say, crack beer and enjoy. Cheers. Oatmeal stout lactose is a new thing for me, but they're just delicious together. <coughs> Cheers. <laughs>